So we've got the brand new 94 Perlo. I'm interested because he's 6.7 mil. He's a five star, five star, technical and incisive pass. What makes him so good? Other than the ginormous upgrade he's got from his 90 version all the way to a 94, he has increased pace by 14, shooting by 13, 6 passing, 6 dribbling, and 16 on the defending physical. This could be one of the biggest icon upgrades we have seen from a single icon upgrade as well. It's not like he's had a 92 and a 93 future star. He has gone straight from the 90 base to this and I know there was a Centurions I believe at some point but that doesn't hold a candle to this card it looks incredible and I don't know why they give him a 99 passing but they don't make him 99 crossing I don't know if there's anything that, that breaks in the game if they do that but it seems to be the case whenever there's a 99 stat I guarantee if you look into the in-game there's always something that's 98 97 it's never always 99 but this card does look incredible like genuinely Genuinely incisive pass, technical, very nice. Play styles across the board, first touch, press proven. Tiki Taka, whipped pass, long ball, ping pass, and dead ball. But the stats are just amazing. So let's jump into him. He is arguably one of the best upgrades we've seen for a while. Let's see if he can hold his own. Good tackle from Perlo, wins the ball again. Very nice, double ball roll. Looking for the overlap if we can. Oh, very, very nice. The mad thing with Perlo, if you was to go with the shadow. Oh, decent shot. 95 pace, 91 defending. Oh, has he come back? That's what we want to see. Finally, a game on our hands. But in terms of the pace of Perlo, you can go anchor and shadow and you've got yourself like a 97 centimid. He is, like I say, the, the biggest upgrade we've seen. The pace is normally enough to kind of put him in at least a contention of uh, at least a spot. Someone to talk about. But the upgrade is absolutely incredible. Like, I, I don't think I've seen so many stats be upgraded in, the t in like the 10 plus. Good tackle from Perlo, sees it out. Little double bull roll into the incisive and it's away on the heels. I think it's always been the biggest problem with Perlo in, in terms of just not having the pace, not having the dribbling. Like He's always been an incredible passer, which I don't think anybody can deny. Get the goal. Good block, Ronaldinho. But in terms of now the upgrade, having the defending, having the shooting, the pace, the passing, the dribbling, it's just totally changed the entire card. Like, it's not even the same card. He's got everything you need from what we kind of always wanted from him as such. Can we get the goal from him? He's going to try and find that left foot. Go on. Good tackle from Perlo. Finds it back. Looking for a little bit of passing. The plain and simple is, is brilliant with him. I know you probably don't want plain and simple from a 6 mil card, but it is what it is. Oh, and Pele stops him again. Always on the outlet, which is perfect. Like I say, has everything you need from him. Perlo looking for the overlap. Oh, get it. Oh, it's a good, it's a good one. I maybe should have held it one second longer, and I probably would have got to that, to be fair. I was going to say, waiting for that double movement if he could. We got anything the other side? He's obviously got incredible passing, so it literally doesn't matter. Straight in, straight to Ronaldo, straight to Pele. What a bit of play. And that is what passing could do for here. Into his feet. Again, just dictating play wherever he goes. It's... It's going to be the one thing that's really good for Perlo is, is the fact if you are calm, collective with him, maybe not necessarily run into like crazy situations because it's not it's not as if he's going to be able to do everything. Like he, his, his physical is nice, but he's not going to be able to, to kind of bash on Virgil van Dijk all the time. But he definitely will be able to do a hell of a lot more compared to... Oh my, compared to previous versions, and literally that couldn't have come any better. That is a brilliant finish. Oh, look at the touch. Stunning stuff. Finds the finds the incisive. I might have been able to get past him there, but we chose not to. Good interception. Can we find a bit of skill? Look for that. 
all the way. Finds the shot. I mean, it's not quite the shot I was planning, but it definitely did the business. Got us the, uh, the corner where CR7 can nearly make him pay for it. What are the free kick stats? 96, 99, 99, 99. Wow. Wow. I kind of expect it from a player like this, to be honest. So that is a pretty fair example. I would love to get a free kick outside the box. But to be honest, I could probably count on one hand in, in the past few games how many I've actually had. Good second header out. Perlo's going to carry. The pace is brilliant. Like you can, you definitely can tell a notable, so notable difference in comparison to the previous version. If you've used his Centurion or his base, you know full well what this card should feel like, and most definitely this version is a lot better. Perlo again with a great challenge. It's probably the biggest advantage: the corners. You've got so. Oh, you've got such like a, a dead eye accuracy there that literally it just makes them incredible usage. Like if you're not going to bring the keeper out, especially like that, that's going to be killer. Yeah, I was going to say probably should have not said anything and he might not have. But if you've got a CR7 just towering above everybody, he's not offside, is he as well? Fantastic. Kind of go for that. I'm just going to go. Oh, what a challenge. <laughs> Sidestep, sidestep again. He's just he's just a dream to play with. Like this is not Perlo. This is like Perlo on steroids, honestly. Good tackle from Perlo and finds it away again. It genuinely is a cheat code. You can if, if he's not gonna move the keeper in, you can just literally fire it into your centre back, your striker, whoever your head ends in, in perfect accuracy every single time. So going into Perlo then, six point seven. Insane. The one thing I do want to know is can we see I, I completely forgot about the Centurions. I know he was an SBC. We're going to have to go to the compare, aren't we? I want to know what the difference is between them two. I know the base is absolutely nuts, but we've got seven on the pace. We've got, what, nine on the shooting. What's the defending? So the defending still is, like, in the teens. Dribbling's obviously gone up by four. Passing's gone up by four. Four, yeah. Don't know what I, I keep thinking of the round number hundred, but uh, just look at it. What what a card! I I liked the Centurions. I thought it was a good upgrade, but the pace at the point just wasn't enough for him. The dead ball didn't really give him anything exciting. It's nice to see now, even though I'm not a big fan of the technical. It, it just isn't my play style. The incisive pass is massive. The ninety nine passing is massive. Everything about this card is incredible the only thing i don't i don't like is the price but to be honest when you're having to pay that much for any of the other top cards it makes sense because he definitely puts himself in that category we are seeing here 5.559 so he is fluctuating heavily up and down like you would be fuming if you was this guy and then you started seeing 5.5 mil like that's that's a big drop and it seems to be that the change is very dramatic like there is a big change there you just have to buy him in the night time bring him back in the day and he's gone back up to seven mil absolutely nuts in himself now in terms of center mids who do i put him next to because he's kind of he's his own sort of player to be honest when a player like this actually gets really good upgrades it's hard to kind of put a point on it because he's not like a bellingham in that sense but he almost is with the stats but he plays differently he's more nimble he's more dribbling orientated which is kind of what he is prior but the pace just wasn't enough to take him forward it reminds me very much of like a really high rated Modric. He isn't necessarily your defending champion, but when you've got a decent upgrade on the defending, he can at least put a foot in. Whereas Perlo is exactly the same. He's heavily reliant on the pay uh, the passing. Obviously the dribbling with the, the kind of five star skiller now, then he's added the pace. It's just a totally different card that is just not, not you're not used to it. It's such a decent card and he's coming in as the most expensive center mid prior to anybody actually being expensive. Extinct. I don't know if we've got, I think what Hullet would technically be extinct in this. You've got, yeah, Hullet's extinct in this. And I think that is pretty much it. So he is the second highest rated midfielder in the game, which is nuts to think. But I completely agree with it. I thought 
when I saw him first and saw 7.5 mil as the, the price tag, I was like, there's no way. Like, genuinely, yes, a 5.5 is going to be brilliant. A bit of pace is going to be brilliant. But the card is totally transformed. Like, you will not literally know a difference between the Centurions and the base versus this card. So let me know down below what you think, and I'll catch you all for the next one.